Well, the government shutdown is headed into its third week, and it seems some federal employees are sick of it. Literally sick of it. Sick days among the Transportation Security Administration employees have increased. Nick Sturdivant is at the world's busiest airport right here in Atlanta, Hartsfield, Jackson, where an uptick of employees have been calling in sick. This started over the holidays and has grown. Nick, are people worried that this is affecting security and, and wait times? You're there. What are you seeing? Yeah, good morning, Christy. We got different answers from different people since our last live shot. And since our first live shot at 9 o'clock, the wait times have been changed still within that 15 to 30 minute uh, time frame. And this is probably the busiest it's been since we got here a little before 9 o'clock. I reached out to Airport Communications and they directed me uh, to, to, to TSA, excuse me, in Washington, D.C. Uh, TSA tweeted out yesterday that they have seen a number of call outs increase over the holiday, but the agency says, it has had little impact on security effectiveness. Uh, it also went on to say that on, on Thursday, TSA workers screened over two and a half million passengers and that overall wait times have been less than 30 minutes. Since we got here, we spoke with uh, several people, again, uh, flying out, some that say they are concerned, some not so much, and one family that says they got here early just in case wait times were crazy. We just wanted to make sure that we got our flight. They, there wasn't a big enough delay that we missed the plane. And again, Christy, different answers. People that are concerned, people are not concerned. Again, people that got here early just in case. And here at Hartsville Jackson, see it right here on the big board, 15 to 30 minutes is the average wait time here. I mean, I feel for them. They are working for free. They have no idea when they're going to get paid. At some point, some of these people are living paycheck to paycheck. You got to live. You gotta live. All right, thanks a lot, Nick. The TSA sick out has social media buzzing, especially after President Trump's comments about how long the shutdown could last, months, maybe even years. It looks like everyone is chiming in with their own opinion on the report. Feel free to join in on the conversation. Use hashtag 11 alive, hashtag TSA sick out, or morning rush ATL. We'll talk about it all in the morning. And of course, we'll stay on top of the story and the continuing saga of the partial government shutdown. Just go to our website, 11alive.com. Click on this story. It's on our main page. You'll find more information about what you and federal workers here can expect as they wait out this stalemate in Washington.